Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this episode of Makerbox Mondays, I'm going to have a look at a filament from Verbatim. And this is a floppy disk manufacturer, among other things. And you probably know this manufacturer from creating floppy disks back in the day. But this is a polypropylene filament and it's a very special filament. And you have to get some creative ideas in your head to get it to stick on the Prosa MK3. But let's have a look after the intro. So this filament is a polypropylene filament and it says on the sticker it sticks well to pet tape and that's something I haven't heard of and couldn't find here in Iceland and I could find a vendor online on Amazon that could send me a roll but didn't show up in time for this video so I was having a look at what to use and I was trying several types of pet adhesion methods and finally ended up getting advice from Joe Mike at Joe Mike Terranella channel and he was using packaging tape on his Makerbox video so I laid down a packaging tape on the Prusa MK3 bed with a PI sheet and and with the packaging tape the filament stuck extremely well and so well the packaging tape basically fuses with the, this filament uh, when removing the parts tape came off the PI sheet and was stuck to the parts so all the prints have remaining of packaging tape or partial packaging tape fixed to them but that was not maybe the issue but it was quite difficult to clean up the glue of the packaging tape from the PI sheet at least for the packaging tape I had laying around it was quite painful with Argentone and releasing the glue that gave me a, a headache but after testing out free prints I just planned out the location of the prints on the bed so I wouldn't have to replace the tape or its print but that was uh, still a pain <laughs> but let's have a look at the prints so I printed this at 225 degrees on the hot end and 100 degrees on the bed and I was printing initially at 50 millimeters a second and in some cases that turned out to be a little bit too fast so uh, I ended up going down to 30 millimeters a second but uh, this one was the initial print and it came out excellent there was no stringing and this is a, a semi-flex or flexible material and it's very very tough and these parts stick extremely well even at the very tips it's quite difficult to get it to break so layer adhesion is, is very good with this filament and this is just a like a rubbery thing to play around with so this came out great in print quality wise and there's a little bit of uh, residue of previous filament on the back side here but it was cleaning out the nozzle but other than that it came out great and I can bend this in any directions and it won't delaminate the layers so the layer adhesion is, is excellent with this and I printed out those test pieces and it's unable to have them break they just bent and, and, and you can twist them quite some and it won't break but it deforms after you twist it like that and also with the upright part it was coming uh, out pretty good here I had added to print a little bit too fast and I slowed down the print to get it in a better shape here I was just printing it upright like this so the time for the filament to cool down was not enough so I slowed down the print but the layer adhesion even in the standard print is won't uh, delaminate so it's just extremely tough and more flexible so this has um, maybe very good mechanical applications and then print out uh, the bridging test and that was maybe not very good looking uh, there's some artifacts and issues uh, but bridging wise it came out decent in the shorter bridges but in the longer bridges it was quite a lot of drooping but uh, this is just like a rubber you can twist without damaging the print. Bridging is maybe not the best thing for this filament. Then on the overhang test uh, it was working quite well up to 60 degrees but at 70 degrees the uh, surface finish on the back side was getting all over the place so uh, overhangs up to 60 degrees are okay but over that it was giving me uh, some issues and here's also some of the 
artifacts I was getting. This might be retraction settings that I have to tune in for this filament. I also printed out this test print and the fine details on it didn't come out very well. And I had these artifacts showing up, and, but otherwise the, the dome printed out quite nice. And it was no issues with the dome, the fine details didn't come out very good, but still it bends on this, this tough filament. And my cat is trying to eat this filament and then printed out my maker coin. And as this is a clear filament, the infill pattern shows through and it doesn't look very nice. But the surface finish was quite okay, but here in the, in the letters, it's maybe difficult to see it's the fine details in the letters, they didn't come out so good. And here in the back side, it's very difficult to see, but the fine details were a little bit rough. But the, the smooth surface was coming out pretty good, and you can see the shine of the filament. But as it is a clear filament, it's very difficult to see the details on this print. I finally printed out the Omnum model and actually cancelled out this print. I was starting to hear some clicking in the extruder and thought there might be some jam coming up and decided to cancel the print. And that's the reason I didn't finish. I had a little bit of filament left, but here it was uh, without any infill, um, just a clear print. Here the surface finish in the back it came out excellent and this is just a flexible model. And so this was my test prints of the Verbitum polypropylene filament. Um, the bed adhesion salt with the packaging tape, I could get pretty decent prints, but maybe I have to tune in retraction settings a little bit. I was getting some artifacts. And I didn't have any issues uh, in regard of strength and layer adhesion was very good, so I was quite happy with this filament. But I now have the pain to remove the packaging tape from the bed, so that is quite a task to get that cleaned up again. Uh, for now, I, I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.